Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Very pleased to be here with you. In the heat of Mexico as we enter the rainy season. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. I want to send you my love, my appreciation, my gratitude for all the work that you're doing on yourself, helping the planet in turn, and of course for all the support and love of the channel. Um, today we have a different topic than usual. Um, we're going to be discussing more health-oriented uh, attitudes at this time. And something that I feel is important to share. What I'm going to ask before I begin is that, in general, this is a general kind of understanding also for the channel, of course, we be considerate towards each other, we be patient towards each other, we be compassionate towards each other, during the spirit especially. So if we resonate with something, that's fantastic. If we don't, we don't. But if we can't say anything nice, we don't say anything at all. This is just an attitude that I've been seeing for the last few months, and I want to implore everyone to consider what this means. Okay, we have no obligation to resonate with each other. If you don't resonate with this channel, another one, a book, a friend, a person, that's fine. But it's not our place to go and share negativity because, you know, the person is not living up to our standards. That is just our ego. So, I hope you can consider this for this period. I think it's quite important. What do we have in store for today? I would like to talk a bit about health, about attitudes and changes that we need to consider at this time. This is a uh, suggestion kind of video. I'm not a physician, obviously. Um, just things that I've uncovered lately through changes in life and, and so on that I really wanted to share. I feel that they are important. I, I made a live a few days ago, I think a week ago. In it, I mentioned some tricks of the trade that I've been using for a while, um, including activated charcoal. Um, things that are more ancient than not, and that we forego a lot in the modern medicine era. And I feel like there is a mistake, this is my opinion of course, I feel like there's a mistake being made there, and I just wanted to address that for today. Most of us are indoors for the foreseeable future, whether it be a week, two weeks, it doesn't matter. Self-isolation and all these things. It brings a lot of questions about health, about the way we treat our bodies, people that are not as healthy or more susceptible to Something I cannot name because of YouTube, so I will call it the Heineken, okay? No pun intended. Maybe there is a pun intended there. It's okay. Um, a lot of consideration about our health, the direction that we're going in, and the changes that we need to make. Sometimes when you're indoors, you make more mistakes in terms of eating, and sometimes you have more time to reflect upon the changes that you need to put into effect. I've been on a journey in terms of health, making changes for years. Most of my karma has been, you know, through physical injury and learning from that. So it's been a healing journey, and I think many people will empathize with this and share this, this journey. Unfortunately, fortunately, this is debatable, because it, is, it has its ups and downs. Um, there are a lot of changes that we need to make in terms of diets in our society today, and it's prompted me to want to do either a course, because I don't know if I can put this in the video, or a video about dietary changes in the Western, I'll call it the Western Insanity Diet, okay, the, the diet we have in the West. I've, I've uh, uncovered some things lately that I wanted to put out there. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I faced, and I mentioned, that's why I mentioned that activated charcoal, these remedies are ancient, they're not new. I had uh, experience with my spouse when we came to Mexico, something that's very common called norovirus, stomach upset. If you look at conventional medicine, there isn't really a way to treat it, you just have to endure it. And if you consider an element that is as simple and as cheap and as available, all over the world is activated charcoal, you pop some pills in there, it absorbs the, the, the pathogen, it removes it from your body, no harm done, it's gone. Okay, so I was thinking about that since then and before. We have these solutions that work and worked for thousands of years and we forego them for the advancement of modern medicine at our own peril because they actually work. Okay, and I've been considering this a lot. I, I mentioned a few times that I had a problem with gastritis in my stomach and I discovered the wonders of uh, juicing cabbage and uh, celery. And I've been doing it for eight months and much better situation. Problems with digestion, ginger, cinnamon, you have these things in nature and they cost nothing in the store. Um, just consideration, sorry, just moving my leg a bit. Um, just consideration of the simplicity of things and the necessity to return to natural elements and not to look at what pill is available and go to the doctor and be prescribed things that we don't need. So, 
One of the things that I had been dealing with, and I'm just sharing my journey to get to a certain point. I don't want to make it about me. Just uncovered something by mistake, and I want to share it. And maybe, maybe many of you know this. And it has to do with the Heineken phenomenon. Okay. Um, I had been facing a certain mineral deficiency lately, and I found myself in Mexico, and because of the way that things are done here, I couldn't procure the minerals that I needed in supplement form. After some time, I found the liquid form called the colloidal uh, element. Colloids are basically certain metals that are exist in our bodies inherently, um, in nanoparticle form, diluted in distilled water, and you drink them. And it helps through the distilled water to get to your bloodstream and other organs faster. If you take a pill, you still have to digest the pill. You may have, I don't know, have eaten something that interferes with the absorption of the pill. You may have done something else. You may have stomach absorption problems. Okay. Um, another component, and I'll get to the colloids. I just want to share a few insights. Another component is if you have, for example, a mineral deficiency, which is extremely common in the world. You go to the store and you buy these now formulas, these natural nature self and all these, uh, I think that's the name of the company, all these uh, formulas. If you know anything about these elements, and this is why I have a problem with all this industry now, <clears throat> you'll see that there are certain minerals that you may be deficient in. When you buy a formula, there are other minerals that come along. It's a multivitamin. One of the most basic things about vitamin absorption is that vitamins and minerals compete with each other. So, if I have a copper deficiency, which I did, which is rare, happened from a stomach problem, whatever, if you take a zinc supplement with your copper, the zinc will compete with the copper, you won't absorb the copper, and then you'll get more of a deficiency because you'll actually absorb more zinc, which um, prevents the absorption of copper and other minerals like selenium and magnesium into your blood, and sometimes iron. So we have, that's our friendly Gecko, who lives in the house now, uh, but he's not paying rent. Um, so you have all these kind of, what I'm trying to highlight is the misnomer, the, 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 the current situation that we're under in the world with our medical science that doesn't make any sense because things are counterintuitive and they just, yeah, I've had a real uh, moment to pick with this, okay. So I discovered by mistake because in Mexico things are more done the, the old ways, this uh, colloidal copper which is basically a bottle of water with uh, uh, colloidal crystal nanoparticles within it that you drink. And then I started reading about this stuff. And it, it brought, it opened a whole new horizon about how to deal with our immune system, how to deal with pathogens, how to deal with illnesses, how to deal with things instead of taking antibiotics, and of course, how to deal with the Heineken phenomenon. Okay. It brought me to read about silver and to read about copper. So these metals that exist in our body, and they help the conductivity, because they are natural conductors, especially copper, of electricity, they help alleviate a lot of the symptoms. You can use copper, and it's been done with coronavirus, people. it is expensive. You can use them in hospitals, in surfaces. If the surface is made of copper, the viruses die within, I think it's a few minutes or half an hour. And if you leave them on a plastic surface and so on, they live for six, seven, eight, nine hours, sometimes days. There is a very strange thing going on. It seems that we have the inherent solutions in front of us, and science, which is supposed to promote our advancement as a species, doesn't want us to know because they want to make money from Big Farm. And this is not a conspiracy, it's just becoming very apparent. So I bought this thing, I started consuming it, I see the effects, I started reading my colloidal silver. And I found out that in ancient days, whenever you had an eel, people used to use silver. They used to have pots with silver, pots made of silver, pots made of copper, to neutralize bacteria and pathogens. And today we have, I know, I know these, uh, obviously these are precious metals, um, whereas silver, not copper, but copper is expensive as well. But today we have the situation where you have water purification systems because our water is not clean. Whereby, uh, whereas, sorry, thousands of years ago we had, you know, active solutions to these things. If we put the proper money and the resources in these things, they could become the norm. Now, what does this have to do? Reading about antibiotics, reading about colloidal silver, colloidal copper, extremely, extremely effective at killing viruses, pathogens, and bacteria, even MRSA, uh, the SARS, and the, uh, what is it called, the Middle Eastern uh, SARS uh, version that they had a few years ago, and so on. These things are killed on impact within a short duration of time. You can ingest also silver 
in small doses, not too much of course, and you can ingest colloidal copper, there is colloidal platinum, colloidal palladium, colloidal gold. I'm just saying all these things, I'm inviting you to check them out. Because you have a solution on your hands in terms of neutralizing pathogens in your body with a natural source that is long-lasting and kills on impact by um, destroying the membranes around the viruses and weakening them. It's been used for thousands of years. Silver used to be apparently the norm, even I think 100 or 200 years ago in terms of disinfecting wounds, and it works. We use it all the time. In Mexico, because the, um, the, the greens are dirty, they are sometimes contaminated from the soil with norovirus, E. coli, salmon, uh, stuff like that. They have this uh, colloidal silver solution that everyone uses, and you put it in your greens and so on. You may have it where you live as well. I started reading about these things. This is a simple solution. It's been around for thousands of years. It used to be um, the natural replacement of antibiotics. And in the late 1800s, beginning of the 1900s, we switched to antibiotics. And antibiotics work sometimes, but not always. Especially when it comes to lungs, when it comes to other areas. I invite you to read on this. This is not, you know, I'm not a physician. And then people bring in the heavy duty silver. So if it works all along and you can get it online and you can get it in the pharmacy for nothing, why the, pardon my French, fuck, do you need to go to a doctor and get antibiotics for things, things that you become, uh, antibiotic um, substances that you become eventually, develop, you can develop a resistance to, then they don't work. So I'm just bringing up what I believe are valid points that are nonsensical and make no sense to me as a person. Why we have solutions that are natural, parent and existing and sadly more used in lesser developed countries and they work. I use them on myself, I'm not talking you know, bullshit out of an article that I read and we choose actively to go the big far away, to take those boxes of pills and these antibiotics and whatnot um, that may or may not work. Now, why am I mentioning all this now? I believe it's important to keep your immune system up to par, generally. I believe it's important to, um, how do we say, annihilate any candida, any kind of pathogens, bacteria, unnecessary, um, uh, how do we call this, um, not ecosystems, organisms in your body at this time. Okay, the majority of the immune system is affected by the gut microbiome. In order to clear the gut microbiome, we need to, you know, sometimes do a, an intense clearing also by what we eat. And also because most of us have some kind of, you know, it can be H. pylori, it can be candida, some kind of pathogen, fungus, yeast, anything within our gut, within our stomach and so on. This was a solution that I found. And I find it to be viable, I find it to be very affordable, available, and it makes sense. And there's, you know, tons of research done on this because it used to be the norm 200 years ago. It seems that by trying to be more advanced, we've become less advanced. And this personally doesn't make any sense to me. Why in the ancient times, houses used to have copper pipes that will kill bacteria and organisms on impact, but today we use PVC. PVC because it's cheaper, we're all trying to save money, fine. But PVC also releases xenoestrogens which mimic estrogen in children, it can affect their sexual development. You can Google that as well. Why are we going backwards instead of forward? I decided to, and this, this is being guided by, by, by guidance, okay? These are kind of insights that I have these aha moments with a bit of goosebumps, whereby we have these viable solutions in front of us and we don't touch them. Even with a stick, and it just doesn't make any sense, personally. Okay, so may I maybe rambling, this may be a rant video, Maybe not as organized as always, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to bring these words to your attention. Colloids, colloidal silver, colloidal copper, colloidal gold. Google them, look them up. I'm not going to start the whole spiel about what they do for you or cannot do for you because, you know, there are online communities that can do it a million times better than I can. I just want to bring it to my next point. And this is just pure opinion video, uh, perspective. I've asked from guidance to clarify and I will elaborate on that in a second. We are dealing with a pathogen now, the Heineken uh, crisis that we're all dealing with. Um, people have lost their lives. It's affecting all of us, whether directly or indirectly. Science, uh, the medical community is trying to find uh, remedies, trying to find vaccines. It's all the race and so on. So I started Googling and I started reading 
I started educating myself and asking for guidance because it guided me in a whole different direction, which is this. And this is just an idea. I'm not saying that I have a cure, because that would be very pretentious. You can use colloidal silver with a nebulizer, which is a particle uh, machine to eject particles into your lungs. You can Google this yourself. Many articles show that when this is a last resort kind of thing. And when antibiotics or other things have failed and it's been months and the patient hasn't recovered, nebulizing colloidal silver kills any bacteria, any pathogens, removes them from the body, inactivates them, also dissipates the mucus in the lungs from the infection, from the pneumonia, and restores full health. So if an average person can go online and do a little bit of research, and this makes sense, I hope I don't have to find out the hard way, but just the fact that it's there and it hasn't been studied and people are trying to, you know, use medication for malaria and other things that are, I don't know if they work, there's no, you know, substantial evidence. We have these natural substances, these minerals, these trace minerals uh, and, and, and metals from the earth that we coexist with. And I want to touch on that in a second in regards to guidance. Why not explore that before we go the medical way? That's what I'm trying to infer and bring back with this video. I want to touch on message from guidance before. I just want to make a couple of short announcements. Um, of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, support us, so you'll get notifications about everything that's happening. You have a little bell thingy so you get in touch with the notifications from the community tab and share the videos. It's important to comment, to share, to subscribe, to keep the channel alive uh, and thriving. Okay, check out the website indigolightlove.com. You have everything on there. If you feel like you need a session, you need some help, it's there. Um, we have the Instagram at indigolight2222 with pictures of trips and insights and so on that are not on Facebook, not on YouTube. Um, those are the basic announcements. I'm also going to be starting a course. It's one thing that I wanted to do. I was supposed to do it in person when I came back to Canada. Right now, because of the situation and the social distancing, I don't know when that's going to be possible, so I'm going to be bringing this most probably online. Um, I have two courses actually in, in the works. One is health-based, okay? Everything that I've uncovered, not as a physician, not as a medical practitioner or anything like that, just ideas and things that I've uncovered over the years to treating myself and helping others. Um, and the second one is going to be basically pivoting because most of us are going to be working online in the very near future as we dissolve the current way of doing things, pivoting to a more spiritual-based business online, how to do it, how do these things work, okay? If you have any questions regarding these courses, they are in the works and they will be coming out soon. You can send us an email at indigolight2222 at gmail.com. Support us on Patreon and through PayPal for more kind donations if you want. Everything is in the description. And now we're going back to the topic at hand. I started uncovering all these things and I wanted guidance to, not to validate, but to clarify, to explain. So I sat down and I wanted to talk to Gaia because these elements are from the Earth and to understand. Overall, we have a deep connection with the Earth. Okay, we are made of stardust, we are made of minerals, we are made of everything that is in the ground is in our bodies as well. The presence of these minerals and these metals help connectivity of electricity and energy to our bodies. Because of the way that we live our lives with these machines, um, and all the electromagnetic frequencies around, we disrupt the connectivity of the body and we impact our health. There is, like with ley lines on the planet with their electromagnetic uh, circuits and the pyramids that were built to try to balance them over the years that we don't use anymore, there is a connectivity circuit within the body. And it's very important to have these minerals in adequate amounts and to enable them to conduct electricity and energy to our body properly. And because of the way that we eat today with all the carbohydrates and cigarettes and the alcohol and all these things, we break the balance, we mess with absorption of metals, not heavy metals, necessary metals, okay? And it's important to restore the order. When we used to live two, three hundred years ago, you might be surprised that people perhaps lived longer than we did. They didn't have prostate cancer, they didn't lose their hair, they didn't have a lot of things that we do today because our hormones are messed up by what's, on the, what's in the atmosphere, what's in the water, what you eat, pesticides, the hormones, the progesterone in meat, the testosterone in meat, and all these other things. It's beneficial to inquire, and I, I will never uh, preach as a person, I hate when people do that, but I implore you to go online and do some research in regards to these things. In regards to how 
these trace elements in the ground that are ingested, perhaps in a colloidal form or another form, this is your choice, can help connectivity in the brain, can help your mood, can help your energy levels, can help your system work better. You are an electrical machine, whether you like it or not. You're made of water, which is a great conductor, but sometimes it needs a bit of assistance. Okay, these are the things that I wanted to share. Again, you may or may not resonate, you may know this already, it's great, just for, you know, putting the cards on the table in regards to the understanding that if you, I, I believe that if you want to move forward, sometimes we need to go a bit backwards in regards to solutions. Yes, the gecko agrees. We need to go backwards in terms of solutions. Okay, and I, I think that in the past, these are solutions that exist from Atlantis. They exist from Lemuria, used for thousands of years, and we still use them today, but we try to replace them with other things that don't work as well. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. So try to look at silver as a detoxifying, as, a, as an element that can get rid of pathogens within the body, outside. Look at copper, look at palladium, look at iridium, look at gold, look at platinum. I wasn't aware of any of this stuff, frankly, at all. And then I'm reading uh, tons of material from ancient times and today, how things were, how things are today, and I'm a bit ashamed sometimes, because we think we're so I think, smart, but we're not. We think we're progressing, but we're regressing. We're trying to find solutions instead of sticking with what works and trying to find solutions that are actually necessary, like getting fresh water to people that need it, or pre irrigation, electricity, medical care, and so on, for basic things. I'm not talking about you know antibiotics and all these things, just basic things. Just a thought. In terms of cleaning surfaces with the Heineken phenomena, everybody's going crazy. Look at copper. There are copper masks even that people are talking about. I'm not telling you to buy masks, but these things work. There are, you know, you can buy them in your, in, your, in your hardware store if you wanted to. They are online. Don't immediately go to the doctor and he says, take this and you take it. There are other solutions that work for you, I promise you, with everything that I am. And I'm trying to share. When I create this channel, I want it to be transparent and cut the bullshit. When I went through my thing with the ear, I wanted to remove even more bullshit. So it may be cross, it may be harsh for some people, fine. I just want to put what I consider to be the truth out there so that people have options. They may choose to watch this guy with the bald head and the beard or some other person, it doesn't matter. You should have your options in front of you. If the medical community, society, government is not going to give it to you, let it come from a weird guy on YouTube. And if it doesn't come from a weird guy on YouTube, let it come from an article somewhere else. It doesn't matter. You should and you deserve to have your options in front of you. That's all. I'm going to send you my love. I say I'll see you during the next video. I wish you the best. Feel good. Um, stay positive. And check out the colloids online if you have a few minutes out of your busy days. I know you're, you know, it's not easy to be indoors with your families and stuff, but I think it's beneficial. I send you my love. Stay awesome. And